Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Upper Deck Gen Con stream. My name is Mark. I am Vito. And we are uh, project managers, or product managers, rather, for uh, uh, Upper Deck Gaming, uh, specifically Versus System 2 PCG, which is what we'll be playing today. Um, so uh, we've got, since Gen Con is going on this weekend, uh, we've been uh, doing stuff pretty much uh, every day. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, we played Legendary. Um, with uh, Rob, Richard, and Erica. We uh, showed off some new cards, played some uh, old stuff. Uh, today, we're actually going to be playing some Versus System 2 PCG, 2 PCG decks that uh, we actually went out and asked the community to, to supply some decks. So we picked a couple of those. We're going to try them out. Hopefully, we, uh, we do pretty well with them. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, uh, at, uh, let's see, starting at 9.30 Pacific time, we're actually going to be on Gen Con's main stage. So that's going to be uh, on Gen Con TV. That's their Twitch channel, 9.30 a.m. Uh, let's see, Rob and Richard are going to be back playing Legendary. They're going to be playing the new Annihilation, if I remember correctly. And they're also going to be playing uh, Legendary Bond, the new The Spy Who Loved Me set. So definitely check that out. Again, that's 9.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, Pacific time on Gen Con's main stage. That's Gen Con TV. That's their Twitch channel. And then uh, Sunday, we're going to be actually going back and re replaying the stuff from uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you've missed anything from yesterday, if you're going to miss tomorrow, you can still check it out on Sunday. Uh, and that'll be right back here on our Twitch channel. Um, on top of all of that, Upper Deck is running a, uh, a new contest called Legendary Gamer. We are looking for a Legendary Gamer. Um, so what you do is you go to um, upperdeckstore.com forward slash legendary dash gamer. Uh, there's going to be a link in the chat and we'll also have one um, uh, later on. And uh, what you need to do is you need to create a one to three minute video or a 200 word statement saying why you or someone else you know is the legendary gamer. It doesn't have to be that they play legendary. It doesn't have to be that they play versus. If you are just a legendary gamer, or you believe you are the legendary gamer, um, go ahead and sign up. You can win uh, two tickets to uh, Gen Con 2022. You also can win an entire year's worth of Upper Deck games, and that's a lot of games. Yeah, it is. Um, so again, uh, head over to UpperDeckStore.com forward slash legendary dash gamer, and that will give you some more information on where to uh, submit your stuff. Uh, you also get a free Legendary Gamer t-shirt just for entering. So even, even if you um, aren't selected, you'll still get something pretty cool. Um, that, is limited, uh, that is limited to the first 50 entries. Okay. Um, but get on it. Like, yeah. just, what are you waiting for? <laughs> uh, so, don't, so don't wait on that. Uh, let's see. That will go between... Uh, it started back in September 9th, and we'll keep going until uh, December 18th. And then um, the winners will be announced on uh, January 5th. So uh, we've got a little bit of time, but you don't want to miss out. And there's a ton of stuff, like $2,300 value. There's a, there's a whole list of stuff here. Let's see, two tickets. Two tickets to Gen Con, transportation, uh, three upper deck gallery prints, hoodies, water bottles, customized cards. Customized cards? Yeah, what's that? What? I want to know about the customized card. i got to get Rad on the phone. That's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see, packs of sleeves. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff. It's all incredible stuff. Uh, the hat that oh, yeah, he's wearing. Currently, we got wearing. water bottles up on top. So there's a ton of stuff. So yeah, definitely, uh, uh, you, you're going to want to enter that. Uh, so again, um, upperdeckstore.com forward slash legendary dash gamer. Um, we're going to have that link in the uh, chat, and we're also going to have it on uh, on the stuff down here. But uh, let's see, as we got people coming in, build phase. Good to see. Ya. Uh, can we nominate other people? I don't know. Can we? I say why not? <laughs> like personally, if if you wanna if you wanna oh, talk about another person who has been a big impact on gaming, the gaming community you would interact with, um, I don't see anything in the rules that says you can't nominate another person. Not yet. Not yet. We'll we'll, we'll get back in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you definitely you, you definitely want to check that out. That's awesome. Uh, really cool stuff. Oh, well, okay. if that, if that's right. what you were told, okay. then that's the case. We're, we're being a little too excited. Yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. I so am. if you think you are the uh, ultimate gamer, check it out. Uh, when are we going to get some symbiont previews? As soon as I have a release date for you, honestly. 
Well, so getting some products out this year has been has been pretty tough. As a matter of fact, uh, the legendary Annihilation uh, set that came out on Wednesday was the first legendary set that we were able to release this year. Mm -hmm. And normally we should be on our third set. Um, for Versus, we were able to get the first six out. Um, not perfectly, but we have been. Um, so the next set of Symbiotes, uh, we are still trying to nail down a, uh, a release date on that. Um, but as soon as we can do that, we can get some previews out there. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of cool stuff that we want to show off, but until we can do that. So the next three, which is Lethal Protector, Maximum Carnage, and Spider-Verse, um, it will introduce a new team. Mm -hmm. It will have uh, an older team in there as well. Um, but yeah, a lot of cards. There's a lot of fun cards. There's this pile, this, this mountainous pile of gold that I want to tell you guys about, but... Um, I can't talk about any of it yet. We, we can talk about promos as they are about to exist. We, we can talk about promos. <laughs> so normally during Gen Con, we do have promos. So if you were to buy products from us at the show, um, you would get those promo cards. Again, like everything else, um, I, I think you wanted to show game. that one. So this is the one. Oh, that is you got, there <laughs> upside you go. down. It is upside down. Um, so this is the Franklin Richards one that we did last year uh, for if you bought uh, anything from the first family arc. Um, but again, everything like everything else, things are being delayed. But we are having promo cards. Uh, one, there will be one for the Civil War arc. And I understand that the Civil War arc has been out for a while. Uh, so if you've already purchased it, that's fine. We will have it available through uh, Organized Play next year. Um, there will be one for the Symbiote arc. So if you do purchase any of the three, uh, products from UpperDeckStore.com. Um, you'll be able to get one of those. If you are purchasing that through your uh, local retailer, that's perfectly fine. Again, we will have that um, that uh, a couple of those promos available through Organized Play next year. Uh, we also have promo cards for the league, so we are redo we're we're getting the league back up and running. Hopefully, we can get a whole um, Organized Play. Uh, schedule set up for next year. We are working on it as if everything will be fine, but again, it's all going to be um, subject to change. Uh, so we've got um, three cards that you can get through League. League is you purchase product, play some games using that product, um, and as you play games, you earn cards. There will also be a play mat, mm -hmm. um, and there will also be a top four and regional champion mats that we're making as well, um, and they are themed around a particular team. So once we get uh, images ready for you, we can uh, we can get those out. We expect to have those in stock probably by the end of October. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I think um, yeah, we are speaking of promo cards. We are going to have some gifts that will be given out um, throughout the stream. As a matter of fact, why don't we go ahead and do one now? Yeah, because these guys have been sitting around. We've been talking, listening to us for about um, ten minutes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and light this thing off. Uh, if you type in exclamation point raffle in the chat, uh, you can uh, go ahead and enter. Um, what do we have? Uh, I dug deep into the, um, the archives, as it were, and found the first four promos that we ever actually made. And personally, my favorite promos here. Let me... Wait. Slide it up this way. There you go. <laughs> Let me put them to where they're so, you can, so you can easier. zoom in a little bit. Um, so these were actually found in the first two organized play kits. Uh, so you've got uh, foil alternate art of uh, Loki, if I remember right. Uh, the uh, foil Thanos, foil of uh, foil, foil, foil alternate art of War Machine, and then the foil Vision. Uh, these are all supporting characters. Uh, this raffle will be for all four of these. I've got quite a few yep. to gift today. Historically, has been a side event at regionals. Um, it's actually something that we're looking at uh, expanding out to stores that they can run those, especially if they want to run uh, events throughout the year to try and build that up. We will have a limited quantity, so we're not going to be able to get everybody everything. Um, so we're going to have to work with stores. So if your store wants to run events, uh, hit us up at op at upperdeck.com. Have the store hit us up at op at upperdeck.com. Yes. Um, just to make sure that. Um, uh, yes, uh, Ben. Uh, local gaming stores can can do league. Yes, I want I want to create a line of communication with your store owner. Please have them email me just an introductory. Hi, my name is Shop Owner A. Um, I have a couple players who are interested. What's this versus thing about? Yes, and we'll 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 hopefully build a bridge that we can then shuffle all sorts of prizes over. 
Uh, it's not going to be as uh, expansive as the original verses uh, for, for the league yet, right, right now. It's really just to get us contacting or getting communication with stores, figure out what stores are doing, uh, promote stores that are doing uh, events, and, and kind of grow it from there. Um, every year we, we try and do something different with verses, and obviously the last couple of years has been... Um, I only know shop owner G. Well, um, tell him to get in line <laughs> between shop owners A through uh, F. F. Okay. Um, I have to go through wow. the whole song in my head. Yes, you do. Uh, so, um, so we are we are trying to get uh, stores more involved. Uh, so that so if yeah so don't contact us saying that you want your store to do it. Have the store contact us at op at upperdeck dot com, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do and. We're going way back. Anything that we've got as far as promos or play mats or stuff like that, we will be able to offer. Um, so, uh, so make sure that you get your store involved. Grow those uh, those little gaming groups. Grow. Play in, play in your local store. Okay. It's, it's the best way to grow the game. Uh, all right. So, um, we asked the uh, community to send us some decks to build, and um, so we went through and we picked two. Um, who are you, Ryan? I took, uh, I, so I've been playing a lot of this phone game recently, and the main bad guy of this Marvel phone game is the Maestro. 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 And uh, the idea of playing him just got me super excited. So I am playing, I believe, Mitchell Friedrichs um, Ma Maestro. And then I am running Roland's Dancing with the Zemo. Dancing with the Zemo. So this is actually built on the, I believe it's the current format, which is It's All Good? I think so, yes. Um, so this is uh, built off of that format. So we're going to try it out. And of course, it has the greatest card ever invented for Versus System. Which and is, then uh, his greatest support. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, um, so yeah, I appreciate to everybody who, um, who submitted some decks. Uh, we got quite a few of them. Um, including some people who, who sent in quite a few of them. Uh, so we do appreciate you guys uh, sending us some stuff. Um, and uh, hopefully, uh, Roland and Mitchell, we, uh, we do you proud. But um, I apologize for what you may be. <laughs> uh, honorable mention goes out to uh, Scott Watson, who sent me a Nebula list. And I was, before I saw Maestro, I was about to just yeah, that, slam that, Nebula. Yeah, I figured you were going to pick Nebula. <laughs> I love Nebula. Um, the sleeves that we're using. Oh, uh, these you've got, new. Yeah, you've got uh, the, uh, the Storm ones. I've got the Deadpool ones. Um, these are going to be coming out uh, in the next couple of months. Um, so these are some brand new ones. Uh, the art for the... Um, actually, the art for both of these. Yeah, both um, of these are... Were original art. We actually got these done for our masterpieces. Um, or I'm sorry, this was Fleer Ultra X-Men, and that was masterpieces. Um, I actually got this on my van. And I know I've reused that joke, but... Uh, let's see. This hand's fine. Have. Sure. This hand's fine. Uh, this is not bad. This is not bad. I would we'll prefer see. a yellow. I'll get, I'll get to yellow. We'll get there. Um, I didn't bring any dice. Instead, I have uh, tokens, so... Find the green token. Red one. I'll go Aww. first. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know. We'll be keeping an eye on chat. Uh, oh, we need to pick a winner. Duh. Oh, I guess we should pick a winner. And our winner is... Super Asn Stoner. Super Arizona Stoner? Maybe? It's got to be Arizona. Yeah. What is that? Asian. No, I think it's Arizona. It may be Asian. It may be Asian. <laughs> Maybe Asian. Appreciate uh, it. So sound off in chat that you are here and um, want the, the, pro the promos. And then we can get those to you. We will give you mm, 60 seconds. <laughs> um, I will go first. Sure. Uh, let's play a Baxter building. I'm going with Super Asian Stoner. Probably. Probably. Covid. Uh, I do not see him. Is he in here? If you are here, please sound off. And I don't actually have any, um, any round one stuff. I need to stop doing that. Yes. <laughs> and oh, yeah. sorry. I got I got super nothing. I'm just gonna pass to you. Okay. We'll do another thirty seconds. If you are in the chat, super as stoner. Hit me up. 
Tell me your favorite. Uh, tell me your favorite color, your favorite number, and uh, the year you were born. That followed by your social security number. Please don't share that in chat. I'm joking. <laughs> that's not. That's not enough things. I don't like where this is headed. All right, so let's see here. Gonna go ahead and single attack to Zemo. Really loves fish tournaments. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Nothing happens, uh, nothing happens okay. but congratulations on getting your counter. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Solo will also do the same thing. Range. Congratulations on your counter. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we are 30 seconds. When did you post that? 30 seconds ago? Three. Two. One. <laughs> All right, we're going to roll it again. Everyone's still in chat? Here we go. Picking winner. And Revolt, Revolt Puppy. Puppy. I believe that is Roland Christie's name in chat. Is it? I think so. Revolt Puppy, if you are there, sound off. Let us know that you have heard and are here and want some stuff. He does. No, there it's Justin, is. other guy. Other guy on uh, mm. on mm. <laughs> Deconstruct. Mm. Unless I'm mixing up people. See, uh, Yoda Taco says, my local gaming community really loves official tournaments and things like store, regional, national championships. Will that be something in the future? be great to have a website dedicated to OP for M4 players. Yes, it would. It would, it would be great to have that. It would that. be awesome um, if we, we had are something doing, called a store locator. We are or, doing so many things. <laughs> uh, yes, all of those things are in the books. I am working on proposals and uh, programs and all sorts of stuff. It, it takes time. I'm sorry. But it, it takes a little bit of time, and we are moving forward on that stuff. We do plan on doing a lot more local ground-level stuff to grow naturally. Uh, we have reached out to a couple stores for regional already. Um, we're just getting the schedule put together. Uh, but if you have a store that just wants to run a local tournament, um, and we're, we're probably going to have smaller stuff throughout the year, we're, we're kind of planning on that. Yeah. Uh, but nothing is set in stone yet. Uh, but we are we are looking at doing stuff throughout the year. Um, so yeah, again, if your store has wants to run some stuff, just let us know. Op at upper deck .com. Have the store contact us at Please. op at upper deck .com. All right, you all good? I think I'm all right. All right, two cards. Cool. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's play Ahab in the back row. Oh, there he is. Bust out this rules thing just so I make sure that I'm playing hounds correctly. <laughs> Not that I have any hounds, but now you can see my secret pile of hounds. Yeah. Where are you, sir? I know you're in this box. Ahab. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Appears. Put a mm -hmm. hound into your hand. Okay. Okay. All right. Hound. I think you yep. can choose any hound you want. All right. Okay. And then they're just in my hand. It's just yeah. it's just a side deck. Excellent. Yeah. So it's a, a side deck of four unique cards. They have to be, I believe it's X Men Sentinel and Resistance. Resistance. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, not Sentinel. I think it's X Men. X Men Resistance, Resistance and Hammer. Now, now I literally just looked at it. Now I have to yeah, see. You did. Oh, it's Brotherhood. Oh, Brotherhood. Duh. There it is. <laughs> the other or mutants. The, the other, other mutants. mutants. <laughs> Um, okay. The other mutants. The other mutants. The other other mutants. Is OP only for the U.S.? Live in Vancouver, British Columbia, and would love to test my skills in OP in person. I'm working on that. Yeah. I, I have plans for Canada, but I don't know how much I can actually do in Canada right now. Um, but, as within America, contact your local store, see if they can get involved, and we have distributors in Canada. We do hockey cards. We do. Um... <laughs> It does get kind of tricky with some stuff in, in outside the U.S. Uh, we, are, we are dealing with some um, tournament stuff. And um, so right now, it's still kind of iffy, but uh, have your store contact us. We at least understand. We can at least grow a list of stores that are interested in running stuff. Um, that's, love, that's one thing that we... I would love to run a, a... What would you even call a Canadian 
tournament? Is it North? I mean, I, it's, it's part of North America, but is it like North North America? Is it? <laughs> you can call it just Canadian. The, the British, the British <laughs> Columbian <laughs> Open. Sure. Um, oh, I didn't know that you were. Uh, so, for you, those of you that uh, may have missed uh, the early stuff, uh, we are running a um, a contest known as Legendary Gamer. So, Upper Deck is looking for a legendary gamer, and that does not mean gamers that play legendary. That means any gamer that plays games. Uh, head over to upperdeckstore.com forward slash legendary dash gamer, or there's a link right there in the chat. Um, it'll give you all of the information. Uh, you can either do a, I believe it's a three minute video or a 200 word um, statement about why you think you are the legendary gamer. And uh, we've got a bunch of stuff that we're giving away. Uh, for the first 50 qualified entries, you'll get a t-shirt. Uh, but for those that, uh, that that do win, you can get uh, let's see two tickets to Gen Con for next year, uh, gallery prints, hoodies, water bottles, sleeves, um, a lot of stuff like twenty three hundred dollars worth of stuff for first place. So uh, head over to uh, legendary or upperdeckstore.com forward slash legendary dash gamer and you'll get all the information you need there. There's also the link in chat and we will we'll have the link uh, below after uh, in the vods. All right, I don't think that. You need to keep solo, and I Aww. believe that Ahab is worth sacrificing for this. So we're gonna make a. Oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna make a melee attack. <laughs> melee attack on uh, Sasa. Uh, what, what am I doing? I don't have to do. I range. don't know. What are you doing? Dude, it's been a minute since yeah. I played this game at this level. It's. it's I can I can demo all day. I can I can fake lose easily, but trying to win. What's that? Uh, so you're gonna pass. I am passing priority. All right. So I'm also gonna pass. Excellent. Huzzah. Um, you're too big and scary, so we're just going to move on. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Oh, I wish I brought my post-it notes. This one is Ooh, puppy. Hmm. We at. Oh, did we do another raffle? Did I miss? Us starting another raffle? You sneaking raffles in under me? Yeah, he's, he's going right. to drop fine. another one. That's fine. I'll just show you what this raffle's for. This one's for the uh, the X Men suite, Beast, Storm, Iceman, and the Taskmaster promo, which is shared art from Legendary when they did their promo. Uh, yeah. So the Taskmaster was from uh, Legendary. Um, the Storm and the Iceman are from um, Masterpieces, I believe, and then the Beast was original art we made just for that card. Did we make the Spider-Man? Was that also original art? No, that was a cover from Avengers Academy, which is why okay. I picked it for Academy. It's so good. Yeah, it really was. It really is a good one. Okay, so what I want to do is... Let's see, I got two, so I'm going to go ahead and play that when he appears to draw a card. Excellent. Nice. And then he'll get uh, one more XP. Uh, then I'm going to um, play that. Another XP. Uh, and then I'm going to when spend... Char I, I do have a reaction to Charlie. Do you? Uh, I do not. I do. I'm going to mute and control that, Charlie. Alright. So an enemy player recruits a character. That character loses and can't gain powers this turn. Yes. Okay. Uh, he's a bit too scary. Hmm. 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 Uh, let's see. And then I'm going to go ahead and spend... Uh, during my build phase, fill the ranks... And I'm going to bring out Solo for another one. And that gives me up to four. Okay. Oh, Solo. He's a three. All right. So I'm going to have to ranged attack maestro so he gets a two so he's now a four seven do you pass i do fine cover there it is <laughs> that's fine um and he'll just shoot to shoot shoot to shoot pew, pew. Hmm. All right, so what we got going on? <laughs> hmm. 
All right, we'll uh, <laughs> close out the raffle. Hoping I could do your, something with Charlie Twenty Seven, but no. As your turn seems to be over, no. Let's uh, pick our winner. <laughs> We've got Super Asian Stoner. You get another chance. Uh, please sound off in chat. Um, we're gonna give you probably until I end my turn. I believe it's my turn, right? It is your turn. All right, yes. cool. Let's try some <laughs> Dude. <cards>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Draw some cards, play a resource. We are going to lay Taskmaster down, because I love him. I'll gain some XP. I'll draw a card from Prowler. We have ranged. We do not have fight. We do not have Jovian strength, because it's not a keyword. And we get go solo. So we do have go solo. Let's make some ranged attacks. Cool. I'll start with Ahab on 27. I'm sorry. Does he? Do I have it for? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Whole team. Range attack on Charlie Twenty Seven to get my counter. Charlie's got three health. All right. He gets to stick around. Oh yes, he does. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't. Wasn't thinking about that. Uh. Make a solo attack on Prowler. And we will attack Solo himself. Taskmaster happens to be my favorite character, uh, my favorite card in this entire game. So much so that I got his rules soft changed when he came out. Because he used to go infinite. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Da, 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 da. Alyssa the Amazon, you're still here? Hanging out and chat with us? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got something in my eye. Not sure if it was supposed to be. Oh, no. Bagel Tap. Bagel Tap, congratulations on getting the art from a card you most likely already have. All right, so I guess Super Asian Stoner still has not said hello, so we're going to go ahead and take that one off. Bagel Tap, please say something in chat. Oh, there nice. Is, is, um, you may recognize this art. I'll bet you have it. And the Storm, Shock to the System, the Iceman, and the Laboratory. I'll put that one aside for Bagel Top. Can't have enough Taskmaster. That's the truth. We liked them so much, we print them again. I'm supposed to refresh. Oh, this thing in my eye is actually trying to kill me. All right. That's all I got for my turn. I will pass the turn to you. versus a quick learn versus can be a quick learn i would go to um civil war arc for the quick learn um version of the game it is one of those things that has a pretty low floor and a very high ceiling um once you get in and learn the basics of the game the the different rows and how superpowers work you can then dive a little deeper and get into the aspects of deck building and uh lines of play and counter play um, holding, for example, holding find cover in your hand because you are using your life as a resource and holding it off until you actually need it for more pivotal attacks, keeping things like Taskmaster alive. Um, there's a lot of depth to the game. Uh, so long story short, to answer your question, yes, it is a quick learn and a long master. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to do... Happy to do what some web games. Yeah, a lot of our community does play through Discord um, or other video sharing apps. There was a little bit of Skype play in the day and a little bit of Zoom play. Certain expansions are not compatible with quick learning. There are a couple expansions that get a little tricksy. Um, I would probably stay away from the Sentinels expansion or the Fantastic Four expansion because they do deal with some very 
out there stuff. Um, but for the most part, every expansion works with every expansion, and I would say the the best part of this game is just mixing, just playing playing what you like. I uh, I'm a huge Hawkeye fan, so playing um, playing any of the Hawkeyes and every Hawkeye is a uh, is a huge fun, huge uh, bit of fun for me. I really like shield teams six drop Hawkeye, um, even though he only has one health, and a lot of people poo poo him for that. He's got sniper, and that's an amazing keyword. Like fifty state, fifty state. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna play fifty state. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Man, how did you get all of your fifty states? <laughs> I drew both of those <laughs> from that. Golly, there's way too much card draw in this set. We need to. It's not gonna help me much. Put the jar of greed ban on that. Civil War is a fantastic set. I I love it. I think it's a breath of fresh air. It it doesn't feel um, super complicated, but the interactions that exist with like Hulkling um, uniqueness killing himself and just getting rid of other things, uh, the Daredevil multiple man combo. There's there's lots of really neat, crunchy stuff to get your head around. All right, so I'm going to have to do this in order to bump him up. Jovian Strength. Man, so I wish I had paid attention to your recruit stuff. <laughs> yeah, you got me. I'll put these where they go, I guess. Let's take a wound. And then... Um, I'm going to do Helmet into Taskmaster. Do I have anything that's helpful? No. No, I do not. Alright, you got me there. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do um, Taskmaster. You got him! Cool. Cool, right. cool, cool. That was not super great, but I should level up next turn, hopefully. Oh, there you go, start digging. That's the plan. You start digging. Uh, Vito, can you do a quick overview on his turn? Uh, on uh, Oh, Vito can do a quick overview on his turn. Oh, you playing, playing against the other player, correct? Not Mastermind yes. or Villain. All right, so Versus System 2 PCG is a two-player competitive card game um, about superheroes fighting. That's the easiest go-to I, I, I do. Um, you involve your main character. They have a health total, and you want to get your opponent's main character's health total to zero by inflicting wounds. You do this by combat, by fighting, by playing plot twists to change the tides of battle, by equipping equipment to make yourself stronger. Um, there's a power loader, and that's the coolest thing ever. And once your opponent is KO'd forever, you win. Um, you enlist the help of allies that you've collected throughout the galaxy and pay for their superpowers to ensure that you end up on top. Uh, so when you build your deck, you're building a 60 card deck, you're going to start with the main character. The main character is going to have a level up ability. That's usually what you look at first to see how your how that deck is going to interact. So like for example, I'm playing Helmet Zemo and he was all about looking for one cost, one recruit cost characters. So this deck has a lot of those. So getting those out, playing um, uh, superpowers in order to get more of those out in a turn allows me to level up and become stronger. Um, every character has at least one level up ability. Um, some can level up multiple times throughout a game depending on what their, their number of levels are. Uh, right now we've got uh, Marvel, which we're playing here, which is a, um, the publishing side. We also have MCU uh, content. We have 20th Century Fox content, including Aliens, um, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and um, X-Files, Predator, um, and then it all mixes. It all can mix. Um, competitively, there's some rules, but if you're just playing at home, it all mixes together, and you can build these great, amazing, really wild and kooky decks. Really wild stuff. I love playing uh, when you when you mix them. I love playing Buffy mixed because she just loves the illustrated cards. So Banana says, as a newer player myself, I was feeling overwhelmed with some expansions since keywords and some interactions I don't understand. Civil arc really uh, re 
reinvigorated. Invigorated, thank you. My interest in the game and being a new player friendly, uh, being player friendly while also being strong and interesting. So Civil War was specifically built with the new player in mind. Um, we've had content for six years now. Um, and so we wanted to be able to bring some of the older player or older characters uh, up and uh, and really give a nice starting point for uh, players who haven't been around for the last six years. Uh, Blue says, now that the Marvel uh, makes Alien Comics, any change of uh, revisiting the IP for the new set? That's not how that works. Um, we do not get stuff just because Marvel makes uh, Marvel stuff or Marvel makes other stuff. We have a deal with Marvel and we have to have a deal with 20th Century. Um, if we want to and we want to go for the comic book stuff, that's a whole nother license we would have to be involved in. Um, so just because you see something in a Marvel uh, comic does not mean we have access to it. That's not how any of that works. Yeah, it's, it's, it's some fun licensing stuff uh, to follow up if you do any future 20th Century Fox content. Will it be labeled 20th Century Studios? It's up to the licensor, what, uh, what they yeah. want us to call it. Yes, Fox, 20th Century Fox is no, longer, uh, no longer exists, so it's just called 20th Century Studios. So yeah, it, anything anything that changes in a licensor, those cards will change with it. Um, yeah, I like Nightcrawler. Yeah, I like yeah. yeah. Mm. Does Nightcrawler? She's he's in the game, right? Uh, uh, I don't. You keep saying he's in a, he's he in the is. card from he's, the first set. He's in a card from the first set. Um, hey right. Theo, there he is. Rip Nightcrawler. Yeah, rest in peace, Kurt Wagner. We uh, we I'm are working. Skip. We are trying to get him in the game, guy. I'm gonna skip my recruit step or my resource step to play a three drop so that I can level. Interesting, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how good of an idea that is, no, but we're I, gonna do I, it. Yeah, I know I know what you're trying to do. Uh, I mean, you're trying to do, there yeah, it is. Then we're gonna search red. for some stuff. Then you're gonna search for the thing. The thing, one of the things. I don't know uh, if I'll search for the thing necessarily. Yep, yep, free, okay, play it for free. Right. Theo says that Nightcrawl is on three cards in New Versus. He's probably right. <laughs> Licensing is a funny thing. Yes, it is, Banana. Licensing is a funny Yes, it is. Um, Everybody's different. I think that I actually gain more benefit out of this guy than the old Isosphere. We'll get the Isosphere. Good old Chimichanga. And here I am. I don't have gentlemen in my in my deck. <laughs> Oof. Some classic. He's gonna get big. He's gonna get so big. All right, clip it to him for free. I would like to use the power. I just love saying it. Chimichangas, chimichanga, chimichanga, chimichanga. Put four plus one plus one counters on myself. I am now a twelve twelve. Uh, we're going to protect. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry, did you forget something? I just realized you have Taskmaster on the field. <laughs> did you not realize why I, I took not, your Taskmaster oh, out no. first before? Oh, no. <laughs> I have been bamboozled. All right, well, then I guess we wait. <laughs> Taskmaster has all three <coughs> powers on face-up enemy supporting characters. All right, well, I also skipped all sorts of phases. Let's move to the uh, end of the formation step into the main step. Let's try to do this appropriately. Let's get Charlie 27. Beats, I believe in you. I hope you do. I'm going to need it. Did I shuffle my deck? So. All right. You did this, but didn't do this? I have not done that because legally I cannot do that. Um. The, the the game state must protect itself rules in the game uh, really saved my bacon there. It says enemy players cannot use superpowers, so even though I attempted it, uh, it's not possible for me to do it. And because it's not possible for me to do it, I never legally used the superpower. Mm -hmm. So now, by attacking Taskmaster, if he goes down, I can then use the superpower. Right. The game state must protect itself. Now, if it was a, if it was a situation where when a player tries to use this, cancel it, at which point I'd be SOL. Yep, I got nothing. Chimichangas, 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 chimichanga. Excellent. And I pass. Uh, 
the, the advice I have for all versus players everywhere is slow down, read the whole card, and uh, quit going so fast. Evening from across the pond. Uh, have I missed any juicy news? Kyrian Cook, you've missed all the juicy news, so much so that we're going to do another gift, gift away. Um, we are doing raffles today for various items amongst the Versus History of Promos. This set is Mysterio, Jessica Jones, Ares, and She-Hulk. Um, we are doing all sorts of raffles. It is exclamation mark raffle. Up to the camera. Why would I show them off? I, they know what they are. Blam! I love this Jessica Jones so much. Yeah, those two are both the foils. The Jessica Jones is the uh, is an alternate art that we made just for the card, uh, and so is actually the She Hulk. The exactly. She Hulk is a uh, is an original right art piece as well. We're gonna act like that's my Jessica Jones. Um, exclamation point raffle to do the thing is the card with non Marvel characters on it. Focus Shh, looks like some on Marvel monsters in the background. I'm not sure what that means. Is the card with the non-Marvel characters on it focus? Which one is non-Marvel? I'm sorry. Please, please uh, clarify. Yeah, because I, I would like. <laughs> sorry, to... skeptic. Well, which one are we talking about? Did I hear She-Hulk? Yes, uh, you yes, did. you did. You actually have this card, Alyssa. <laughs> I gave it to you the other day. Yeah. She's a fun one. All right, so bring him out. Do I have any money? Uh, Mark told us a while ago that a non-Marvel character appears on a Versus card, but didn't reveal which one. I think he's talking about the me token. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's. I know it. I know I, what he's talking about. Now, I, know, I, now I, I, I want to know. I know what he's talking I know, I know what I'm. I know what it is. So there, in the image, there is something that is referencing non Marvel content. And so I asked Deconstruct the Universe to see if they could find it. Okay. Which image? Or, it, did, you, or did you not give an image? I didn't, I didn't tell them what it was. Like, okay. But All I right. will. I will give you a hint. Now I'm going to have to find it. It's one of the spells. So if you've got the Mystic Art set. We believe we have found it. I wish I had my sets. Yeah, yeah, Revolt Puppy says it's on a spell. And the only reason I noticed it was because I'm a giant nerd and happened to remember what it was. Is it Focus? I believe... Is it Focus? Do we have one of those boxes here? Uh, I don't think we've got it in the room. Oh, no. I want to see it now. I'll, I'll check it after the stream. Absolutely. Um, What's that? I don't remember if it's Focus. Do you have it's Mystic, uh, Arts? Mystic Art. You probably don't. <laughs> I think we have, like, one box. It's the only one. one I think so. <laughs> we have all the, all the sources, images, and Focus is the only one I can see. I can't remember, but it is one of the spells. Because I just happened to be looking at it and went... I know what that is. <laughs> and I had to go back and actually double check that it wasn't doing something it wasn't supposed to be doing. So, but yeah, it was just one of those random things. It's like, okay, the artist put in something that wasn't Marvel specific, and it was just interesting. That does, oh, I think I know what you're talking about. You mm. were telling me about mm. that. I know what you're talking mm. about. Here's a challenge. I forgot the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I just forgot the challenge. I forgot I, that I even brought that up. I don't think it is. Or do I do that? But I've got to do that in order to take him out. All right, so you got to, got to, got to spend that in order to bring him up to twenty-seven, twenty-seven, and then I've got to swing away at him. Every use of Jovian strength is one less use of Jovian strength. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, it also eats up my ability to fill the ranks. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and put in um, uh, Daredevil into Miss Jones. I will tough. Nice. Uh, if that's the case, then I will go oh, ahead never and mind. shoot. Never mind. Miss Jones. <laughs> never, never mind. Never mind. I'm bad, I'm bad at this game. Do not follow what I do. Uh, 
Uh, I keep thinking the Zemo's level one. He is level two. No, he is a level two. He is a level two. He's a level two, and uh, <laughs> Solo has helped him out immensely. Um, I don't think there's anything else you can do, so go ahead and go for it. All right. Uh, did I miss any sim- symbiote news? Um, nothing new. Um, we're still trying to get that uh, release date, so once we get that going, we will be able to get some uh, card previews out. Um, there will be a promo card for um, the three set, or for the three products from that arc. Uh, if you go to upperdeckstore.com when it releases, when you go to upperdeckstore.com and purchase the product there, uh, there will be a promo card available. Um, and uh, but those, if you have already purchased it through your store, or you're looking to purchase it through your store, you can um, we'll have that promo card available through organized play events uh, next year. Uh, the playmat, uh, yeah. So this is actually two. The playmats we're using are actually from Gen Con. Um, so the Fin Fang Foom one, um, demolish, uh, flatten, flatten, uh, Gen Con 2017. And then um, the Utopia one was uh, Gen Con 2019. Also a plot twist. Also a plot uh, twist. Stand United, I believe. Yes. Um, let's finish off our raffle. The Balrog is on there as well. The ball, Is there a Balrog in there? I don't think he's thinking of the card that I was thinking of. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pick a winner. Let's go. Bill, Bill Faze. Faze. Congratulations. Let us know if you want it. Let us know if you want it. <laughs> Let us know if you want this beautiful Jessica Jones. Uh, well, I mean, he's. I don't think Jessica Jones... He's a big fan of Jessica Jones, so he may not want this. Yeah, I don't think he likes Jessica Jones. He probably thought Kristen Ritter did a bad job. Oh, there he is. <laughs> money, money, money. All right. Yep. That one's Bill Faze. Cool. Um, uh, let's not show you my cards. Let's play... What does this guy do? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have never turned, or, turned down versus cards. <laughs> good okay i've got a lot of um oh i just blanked on the character's name now the joke's not gonna be funny <laughs> what's the the bog the black bog creature of the, the black, black bog? bog i got a ton of those you want those i got just so many major victories just i'm using them as table holders actually to even out my table uh use keyword that is keyword parallel. all right let's play boomer type that again type, what happened type that again Oh, oh, oh the raffle hadn't started. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, so we're starting another one. Um, so if you have not entered, um, go ahead and type uh, exclamation point raffle. If you've already, I believe, it doesn't reset, correct? No, it keeps them. Yeah, so if you've already um, entered the raffle earlier, you don't have to keep entering it. Um, you, won't, you just won't receive a ticket. You, yeah, you, you won't receive a ticket. It'll just You can type it, but it's not going to give you another ticket. Uh, let's see, with... The new rules update, characters don't gain the power from the equipment, but if that character pays for the power, did that character still use that power? Yes. The, the, that, was, that was actually explicitly said in the post that the... I used this terrible example with my friends on how it worked, <laughs> but essentially, say I'm holding a sword. The sword gives me plus five attack. That's just something it gives me, but it's also a magical sword that says I can fly. If I'm then nullified, mm. then I still can't fly. The sword's still telling me I can fly. Mm. Now, let's say the sword has a superpower mm. where I can shoot lasers from it. This is a great sword. Uh, right? <laughs> when I go to use the sword to shoot lasers out of the sword, it's still the sword that has all the power that can do it, but I'm the one using the power. Mm. It's not the sword using the power. Mm. The sword is imbued with the power. And that is my TED Talk on how <laughs> works. Oh, that um <laughs> did you really do I've been is this back. The... <laughs> <laughs> he's like that's my TED talk and went to a commercial <laughs> um, uh, but yeah so now now the community is going to be asking where this sword is uh, this, the sword amazing, has an amazing, amazing this, sword the sword has an unfortunately named name so it will never be oh, okay all right legend of zelda versus expansion <laughs> here we go the master sword the master sword um, yes mitch as a matter of fact um uh, vito is playing your deck Yes, I am, and it's been neat. Uh, speaking of, I'm in the build phase. Let's get some more stuff. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not Boomerang. Yeah, I also recruited Boomerang. Pay, pay no attention to him. Yeah. Uh, I still don't have any of those. Uh, what is this? This is Versus System 2 PCG, a competitive card game featuring the likes of Marvel Super Heroes, Alien and Predator, um, Photographic expansions like Buffy and X Files, 
Uh, MCU. MCU. It's sort of in the vein of Magic and the WoW TCG kind of combined. Um, a lot of combat, a lot of fighting. How does it work? Mark, use your demo skills. <laughs> My demo is rusty. Actually, you, you did it perfectly last time. <laughs> um, so in Versus System 2 PCG, uh, you, like most uh, deck construction uh, games, you will build a deck of 60 cards. Uh, but what sets it apart from everything else is you will have a main character. So you're going to play as somebody. So in this game, I am playing as Helmet Zemo, and uh, Vito is playing as the Maestro. Um, you will then uh, build a deck around those main characters because you want those main characters to level up throughout the game. Uh, so in that deck, you'll have supporting characters. Uh, you'll have plot twists that can uh, change the game instantly. Um, you'll have locations that power up superpowers. Um, and you'll have equipment or may have equipment. Uh, the isosphere is there. Dang it. Um, you may have equipment that can uh, give your um, characters additional abilities or powers. Um, and so you are trying to... Uh, get some characters out to attack and um, knock out your opponent's main character before they uh, take yours out. Um, characters have got life uh, that gets um, taken out as they take damage in, in combat. Um, so yeah, that's the basic rundown. Very quick. Excellent. Um, so I will move to my main phase. Um, are either of you winning at this point? Uh, technically, I am because I haven't taken damage yet, and he's taken two. I think I'm going to turn the tide this turn. Yes, I have, I have a feeling that's going to happen. That combo was errated to the Shadow Realm with the most recent rules updates. Uh, so it's like you create your stor storytelling with luck. In a way, there is a, there is a very deep um, narrative aspect to the game because the cards are so flavorful, and I've definitely used it where we are telling a story between. A fight that exists um, as the maestro, 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 maestro. Uh, as the maestro, I am actually holding a contest of champions right now. Uh, <laughs> I went and grabbed Helmet Zemo out of Castle Zemo. Where's where is he from? Is he from Sokovia or was that made up for the MCU? Uh, I don't think Sokovia is. I grabbed Helmet I Zemo. I said, "Let's fight." Yes. So um, basically, we've we've made our decks. We've gone out and grabbed uh, different characters to help us out. So Helmet Zemo has asked um, uh, Daredevil, Charlie Twenty Seven, Prowler, Taskmaster, um, Solo, and a few other characters that he hasn't seen yet to help him defeat Maestro and his team. Um, so yeah, you're you're basically creating instead of creating a story, you're creating a battle, and you're seeing who can build the best team to take out the other the other player. I will use Boomerang's ability for specialty Boomerangs. We will choose Daredevil and Helmet Zemo. And we will say... Uh, let's daze them. Let's daze them. I don't want to daze them. I want to I kill Helmet Zemo. I want to get him. Uh, let's say they can't ready on their next turn. Let's use the freeze ability. For these two? Yes. Okay. Old Gravity Rang. Okay. Uh, let's get Charlie 27. All right, well, he's got plus four, plus four, so, so he's at five, five. So is you. So is you. No, he's got plus two, plus two. He's not I'm a, sorry, plus he's two, not plus a two. Master he's not a master. He's a plus two, plus two, but, but he's still a three, three. But still, you're right. I, I don't want to do it in that order. Let's let's shoot Charlie 27. Pew, pew. That, that you can do. Uh, that's the third. Man, I am just never going to wound Helmet Zero. I, I never seem to have enough dudes on the board. Uh, let's fly into Prowler. That. And smash into Daredevil. But at least Helmet Zemo cannot ready. So he's a 9-9. Nine nine. I am actually a... Each resource on your side, plus 4, plus 4. I'm a 12-12. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Never heard of it. TBH sounds fun. It is actually a load of fun. Uh, the base system, the versus system, has such good trading card game bones. Um, I am, I am in love. It, it could have no superheroes involved in it, and I would still think that the combat feels swingy. The use of plot twists actually matters. Um, board states are not 
concrete. Like, as you saw, he just had way more guys than I did, but I played one guy, used one superpower, and was able to shift the tides of battle. And he'll, he might be able to do the same. He's still got, like, 25 cards in his hand. Um, the system is great. Uh, yeah, we're going to run another raffle. It's already running, actually. Is it? We're, we're, we're just going to cut it off. Oh, okay. This one is for the, um, what was this, 2018? The 2018 bundle? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to show them. them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You're you driving got Ryan the, crazy. You get the awesome. Academy, the Solo, the Loyal Soldiers, and the Extended Art Fin Fang Foom. Uh, that's an alternate art extended. I don't remember where this card came from. Uh, that was the regional. Okay. That I, was the regional. I um, saw it, and I was like... I don't remember yeah, this card. It was it was the regional for that year. So um, alternate art look extended. At that card. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. I'm having weird navigation issues. It's fine. It's got Hulk Hulkling. Not no, Hulk. it's got Hulk Not fighting Hulk. Fin Fang Foom under ice. Ice. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a really cool card. So cool. Um, did we close that? I don't even remember. Let's press the button. Imperious Rex ninety nine. Congratulations. Please say something in chat so that we know that you're here. Got a few more minutes. Um, yeah, we'll be wrapping up soon. Yep, yep. Which, uh, according to time rules, I am losing. Um, congratulations. Did he say something? I have not seen him. Not Imperious yet. Rex, please sound off. Uh, for everyone who has one today, please ping me on Discord. Um, I believe it is... There he is. Sweet. Oh, there you are. Hey, welcome. You, you got go. you got these cards. Are you good to go? Uh, yes, I'm good to go. That's that's my whole turn. I, I need to I need to put some wounds on you. Um, yeah, please reach out to me on Discord. I am DR4QU3. Uh, I will sound off once this stream is done in the Upper Deck Discord to show you my name. Um... Also at Veets. I'm not sure how the nickname stuff works on Discord, but I am nicknamed Veets. And please join our Discord. It's a lot of fun in there. We are we're all in there, every single one of us, ready to answer questions, chit-chat about stuff, talk about that Hawkeye trailer, um, and how he's wearing a hearing aid, and how uh, it's following the comic book. I changed my Facebook photo literally the day it came out. I would like to mute and control act that taskmaster. Thank you. I uh, can't. Never mind. Just, I'm a liar. I don't know how my deck works. <laughs> Ahab, come back. Okay, so uh, Iceman is going to freeze uh, Maestro. Oh, no. I need freeze tokens, Mark. Get on that. And uh, so, yeah. And Tarly27 is going to ruin my day. I'm going to lose this game, guys. All right, so we've got to do that. She's got that, so he can do that. Did you start one more raffle, Ryan? Yeah, are you doing these two? Uh, yes, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do those at the end. <laughs> which, which is like now. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Let me finish this no. up real fast. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spin this, turn him into, he's going to go into that. And then... Roland, I love your deck. I am sorry that this is happening to it. So because of Boomerang, I'm going to go ahead and shoot. Um, he's frozen, just so you know. Ah, uh, he is frozen. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot. No, no. I'm going to go and shoot her. Oh, my God. Taskmaster gets so good because of Boomerang. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you got over here? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What do you have over here? My everything. goodness. Everything. I have everything. Once per turn during your main phase, but not during your combat. Oh, see, I'm in. Okay. Uh, there's keywords. Anyone, anyone, uh, yeah. mm. Well... Oh, but you can't KO. Wait. You already got rid of it by attacking um, him. Uh, he can't lose it. Oh. It's Once it's on him, I think yeah, it's on I him have for the good. I have the Isosphere forever. Yes, you I'm, do. Because I'm that's why I was. That's why I said you're going to start digging and you were going to go for that. I have the Isosphere forever. Yes, you do. You lose. Superpowers this turn. Daze them. I don't want to daze them. I'm going to kill you. That stinks. That stinks a lot. Because I don't think I can do that. Uh, while the Isosphere is equipped to Maestro, it can't be KO'd or unequipped. Yeah, I guess I guess technically because I'm face down, it does go away. 
because I do not have powers while I'm face down, and it doesn't say that I keep it. It just mm. means that I can't be KO'd from it. Mm. Okay. Actually, thank wrong. you. Thank you for keeping me in check. I can't read. Um, I've also literally never played Maestro. <laughs> Maestro. Well, that 2-1 is not going to help me against your 2-4, and you've got that anyway. Um, but what I can do is I can give you a negative 1, negative 1 counter. You can. So he's going to use that. So That is time on the round. That is time on the round. Um, in normal versus tournament, once time is called, the player, you, you finish the round you're on, and... I went first. And it, does that? Is no, that, you went that's first. Not versus, it? <laughs> yeah, no, no. So yeah, so what you would do is you would um, make sure everybody has um, equal number of turns, mm -hmm. and then you would look to see who uh, who has uh, the most wounds, mm -hmm. or who has the least number of wounds. Who has the most remaining health? I believe. Yes, the most remaining <laughs> health because of the number of wounds. Um, and then uh, and then that player would win. So if if I had gone first, you would still have one more um, turn to, to figure that out. Well, I have. Three remaining health. He has five remaining health. The winner today is Mark with Helmet Zemo using Roland Christie. Yeah, Roland. List. This is this is a lot of fun. It was, Dancing yeah. with the Zemo. That's what he called Zemo. it. It, uh, uh, it did very well. I appreciate that. Let's finish this last raffle and do a final gift that we haven't talked to you guys about yet. We'll do a couple of those. Yeah, we'll do a couple of them. Um, That's what I'm here for. Let's pop off this last one. This is for um, the I don't know cool stuff package. I just really like these cards, so I made them their own chunk of so cards. Alternate art of the Unwavering Loyalty, the Loyal Soldiers, and the Academy, and then the alternate art of the Laboratory, which is um, made specifically for that card. The other ones we were able to pull from uh, comics. Cool stuff package is premium. That's the what I'm cool saying, stuff. man. <laughs> Uh, and finally, we want to make sure that everybody is aware that uh, Upper Deck is running the Legendary Gamer uh, Contest. Uh, if you head over to uh, UpperDeckStore.com forward slash Legendary Dash Gamer, or uh, you can hit the link down below, um, we are looking for the Legendary Gamer. Uh, that doesn't mean gamers who play Legendary. That means any gamer. If you think you are the Legendary Gamer, the most passionate of tabletop games, uh, we want you to, uh, and make a positive impact in gaming also, uh, we want you to make either a one to three minute video and uh, load it up on YouTube, or you can make a 200 word statement um, about why you think you are the legendary gamer. Uh, for the first 50 qualified entries, you can get yourself a free legendary gamer t-shirt. Um, we've got, um, scroll up to the dates, sorry. Um, we've got, it's going to run in between September 9th to December 18th, and then we will announce winners on January 5th. Um, and for the first place, we're given two tickets to Gen Con 2022, transportation and uh, uh, travel vouchers, gallery prints, hoodies, water bottles, which you can see up there, they're giant water bottles, like 64 ounces, um, sleeves, customized card, really want to know what that is because that sounds super cool. Uh, it's like $2,300 worth of value, so you definitely don't want to miss out on this. Uh, so yeah, so head over to uh, upperdeckstore.com forward slash... Uh, legendary dash gamer you can hit the link in chat or we'll have a link on the on the vod uh, second place and third place we're actually going to have um, three winners and they also get themselves some hoodies some water bottles nine hundred dollars six hundred dollar value so a lot of good stuff in there uh, so yeah you definitely don't want to miss out on that um, so we're going to close the entries pick a winner pick a winner for these last cool package Robert Filkins Sound off in chat, say something. Uh, let us know that you're here and you heard us. Uh, and then we can show you the last gifts. Is yeah, there a place more. to send suggestions and ideas, not rule gains, uh, design, but other ideas for the game? Always. Um, OP at upperdeck.com. I answer that. Mark answers that. Um, we are always ready to receive any sort of um, survey information. And we will pass that on to the designers. We will pass that on to marketing. Any, anywhere it's applicable. Um, we're trying We're trying to grow the game. We're trying to build upon what we believe is one of the funnest TCGs I've ever played um, and has an amazing IP, has an amazing launch point. Uh, it's, it's still running strong after five years, six years at this point. We love it. Robert Filkins. Robert Filkins, ha, do you, are you here? Hit me with any information in chat. Um, the name of your dog, the street you grew up on, 
Mother's let's, maiden name. Let, let's try not to. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's try not to. I'm sorry. Don't do those things. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to speed this up, so we may have to choose somebody else. Unless you, uh, unless you're out there, there, Robert. Last call. Five, four, three, two, one. We're rolling again. Sorry, Robert. Sorry, Robert. You go to taco. taco. I, I believe you're here. Go I ahead, hope so. Go ahead and say something. You did just ask a question. It's <laughs> oh, <my laughs> already starting. To count. Congratulations, you win the cool stuff package. Um, these are loyalty. I, I don't know. If, I don't know what camera's up right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, right. These are the these are the uh, loyalty cards. You must have all characters of the same team in order to play them. And these are just super awesome locations. Something I believe we're continuing. Can mm -hmm. we say that in mm -hmm. promos? Mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely continuing that trend. I'm so excited for this next location. Um, just know that my heart goes out to everyone. <laughs> Grab that. Grab that. Three. Uh, let's just do the two. Two. Yeah. Start with this one. Start with this one. We are also going to be giving away these playmats from um, League of Twenty. There it is. Uh, so this is uh, the 2019. So this was the the last league right before uh, COVID. Um, so this one has not uh, seen much use. So this is a awesome awesome image of um the new mutants uh my discord handle is dr4qu3 <laughs> nickname Veets. i will sound off in um yeah so uh head discord over this. so there's our discord uh channel if you're not uh, hooked into that head over there um there are different channels for the different games um and so yeah right after this we will hop into uh there and let people uh know who we are all right, we are doing one more or two more raffles. For two this. more raffles. We're doing this one exclamation point raffle in the chat. If you have not done so yet, we'll give it another five, four, three, two, one, and close. And we're gonna pick the winner. Ready? Go. Skeptic Knave. Congratulations. That's cool. Maybe we should manifest things in our lives more, huh? <laughs> How about that? Oh, I don't think he's in chat. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that's it's, a shame. it's too bad. Uh, Skeptic Knave, if you actually want this, tell me what card art this is. I think I may have already said it. <laughs> I think I may have already said it. <laughs> I, I think it is. All right, so one more. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, so one more. So um, Magic, this is actually, is actually the uh, 2018 League, I believe. Um, so, in, uh, we got some Venom stuff coming, hopefully, soon. So, this is, uh, this is an awesome, awesome image from, uh, Venom. It looks like a cover. It is a cover. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if it's Ven Venom number one, but it was, like, the one from 2018. We are a mat. We are a mat. Uh, we are doing this one more time. Exclamation point raffle. Um, Real quick one, if you haven't been in it already, you should already be in it already. Uh, let's give it 10 seconds. 10. What's happening tomorrow? Nine. Uh, so tomorrow, starting at 9.30 uh, at the Gen Con TV. So Gen Con's Twitch main, main stage. So Gen Con TV at 9.30, um, going till about 10.30. Uh, we are going to be uh, playing some Legendary. Uh, let's see, Rob and Richard will be in here. They'll be playing the new Annihilation and also the new um, James Bond uh, Spy Who Loved Me uh, expansion. So check that out. Uh, again, that's 930 uh, Pacific at Gen Con's uh, Twitch, which is Gen Con TV. All right, let's wrap up this last one. One more time. One more time, closed entries. Get ready, everybody, here it goes. Yasuke, Yasuke? <laughs> Yasuke X009. 009. Please sound off in chat if you are here um, to receive this beautiful Venom Mat League. And with our previous leagues, um, there are other ways to acquire these mats via random events we have. Mm. Um, not specifically the league this year. This league will be only regular league events. Thank you for commenting. We will get this to you. Uh, join our Discord and hit me up on Discord. I will jump into Discord right after this and say, hey, it's me. Um, but non-league events, we should have access to these um, to expand your collection. I think this is probably my favorite league, Matt, outside of maybe the one this year. 
Uh, the one coming? Yeah. Yes, the one coming. Mm -hmm. That one is mm -hmm. pretty sweet. There's a couple coming that are they're awesome. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. We had a ton of uh, ton of fun. Thank you, Roland and Mitchell, again for submitting your decks. We uh, I had a blast. I had an absolute blast. Um, and thank you to everybody else who submitted decks, uh, even those who submitted multiple multiple decks. Uh, it's awesome to see uh, what the community can build. Um, if you want your store or if you or you need your store to run events, make sure you talk to them about running some stuff. Have them get in contact with us at op at upperdeck.com. Um, we've got, uh, we're putting together uh, some stuff for organized play, uh, which will start next month. Um, we've got some formats coming. Um, we know what Q4 is. We're still working on Q1. Um, some interesting new stuff coming. Uh, so yeah, so. As soon as we can get some information out for Symbiotes, we will uh, we'll let everybody know. We'll start showing those cards off. But, uh, but yeah, start, uh, start helping us grow it out in your stores. So op at UpperDeck.com. Have your store contact us. Appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, have a great weekend.